going transient to get what we want. Um, this will be an update, as you see, it's back from the rooftop again. Uh, the last few days I've been pondering about how to get where we want to be. Um, in the UK I'm going to get one of these little AGO cars, A-Y-G-O, uh, just cheap and cheerful, low miles per gallon, uh, sorry, high miles per gallon, cheap insurance, cheap tax. Um, and thanks to the hung parliament, I don't think there's going to be many changes coming up um, for a bit. So. Um, I was putting off buying a vehicle because I knew what they were going to do, but it looks like now they've got a hung parliament, it could make things uh, a bit more stalemate, which is, suits me. Um, but the... Yeah, so I want a car in the UK because then it means I'm mobile for contracts. I want a new vehicle in here so we can be more mobile and travel around and do more stuff in Spain because the, the camper van's all right if we were going like over there, you know, uh, an hour away from the house but beyond that I don't really trust it from breaking down um, and I don't really want to spend a lot of money on re rebuilding the thing so we need another vehicle um, the other side of this being is we want to get a house now as you can see most places here are apartments there is some houses that we're interested in that are just a bit further back um, now that's going to cost me about 45,000 euros upwards um, not to buy it, but the deposit and the taxes, etc. So, locally, the money just isn't there to sort of find that sort of money. I need to bring it in from the UK. Um, and the way, way to do that is actually do transient working. Uh, one of the things I will say is, you're not going to find many jobs in this area that are paying over £1,000 a week. Well, in the UK, I'm getting over £1,000 a week. Um, so what I need to do is try and get a good tax accountant and see if I can wangle it so I can get some more expenses out of the Spanish side and move away from being British to being more Spanish at the same time getting all the tax benefits. Um, yeah, because I, I, I pay for the NHS and crap like that in the UK and I, I'll be honest with you, I'm anti-NHS. I think it's a bloated enterprise. I think it's riddled with corruption. I think it's heavily unionized to the point that it actually damages itself um, but I'll leave that there but the point is I begrudge paying into it um, I hate I hate inefficiency I mean at the end of the day that's what I do for a living I, I, I make things efficient so the point being is if I can recover some of my costs there I can reinvest it in Spain and some of that can obviously go on a, the house that we want to buy at the back here Am I worried about being sold before we get to it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. These apartments down here, you probably go back to the start of our videos in Spain, you will see they were on sale then and they're on sale now. There is no rush on buying properties in Spain. Not in this area anyway. Not on old builds. New builds because they get in-house financing and all sorts. Um, the new builds, there's, there's a lot more assistance with it because it's new money. At the end of the day, people have already got existing properties, already have existing debt, they already have um, no commission beyond the real estate agent. Um, there's no incentives for banks to be selling private properties. Um, they want to sell you a new one. So from that you know in my viewpoint so the point is they're not really driving the sales on the older ones it's more the new properties that are sort of seeing bigger commissions real estate agents are picking up say 12 to 20 thousand euros um commission rather than say five thousand so anyway um the point being is we're not in a rush we'll get there when we get there but being a transient i can travel to the uk make my money and bring it back to spain um and it's going to be much easier to do that and to do it much faster than being out here full time. So I'm still working on the other ideas. I mean, there, there is other stuff I'm looking at at the moment. I'm actually looking at investing in a asset tag printer um, for weatherproof, hygienic, hygienic and blah, 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 barcode labels that are expensive to buy. Um, but let's put it this way, if I put some on the hospital, I could be putting 28,000 of them on there. Um, so if you're getting contracts on a regular basis and you're doing it for other people as well, 
you can see it can be quite profitable and the advantage with that is I just put it in the UK and I remote access it and it just prints them off and then they're stuck in the mail and sent off to the people um, that need them so I'm looking at doing that that's that's a little enterprise I'm looking at at the moment I'm also looking at a um, laminate cutter and some other bits and pieces but I'll leave that for now because it's still still early days the English teaching stuff is still progressing although the problem is I'm really really busy at the moment I've just had another company offer me another six months with another contract um, so it looks like when the university finishes this other company will be taking me um, for at least six months which puts me into next year basically um, which by that time obviously will have bought the cars may not have got into the house yet but we'll certainly be moving into something bigger or we'll getting another apartment so we've got two uh see, see the thing is that i've got enough deposit to go and buy a smaller place and then just rent it out um and i'm i'll be honest with you, i'm tempted to do that i'm tempted to do that because long term it would mean that we have an income that may pay the mortgage on the other property because by the time it comes to the purchase of the house the mortgage on the other one would have been paid off because I paid that off first if I haven't got the house because uh, the Brexit stuff is going to throw a few spanners in the works but I'm not sure how much because you've got to imagine these houses down here have been sat here what a decade nearly no rush to sell them so is it going to affect them to sit there another decade I don't think so and that's what you've got there's no because the debt side is pretty much gone or you've got there's an apartment around the corner this side where they won't let the guy sell it because he owes the bank more than the apartment's worth these things ain't going to change you know the you know apartments may get cheaper but i'm not sure how because the whole market's fake in the first place um yeah wait and see but yeah, I'm going transient expat. I think it's the easiest way to do it. I did the same in the Philippines. It made it much quicker to jump forward because you could actually, instead of doing things in years, you can do it in months. Um, in the same way, this will be exactly the same. Because the average wage in this area is probably less than a thousand euros a month. So if I'm getting that a week, then obviously it's four, four years in one, isn't it? You know, it's four years income for the same same span of a year for a local. But also April can now work as well. Plus we can also get the other stuff going um, online. We've got money coming in online. I need to finish off those bloody websites. I keep delaying doing it because I keep getting sidetracked. Um, they're bringing in money, but I think I could push them up by probably about two thirds by a bit of SEO updating and a bit of marketing. So we'll wait and see. But one thing is, for sure, we're not struggling. We're not in a, not worrying about anything. Um, we're just in the middle of getting April's mother's passport sorted because April's mother will be over here as soon as that's done. Um, that'd be nice, bringing April's mother over to Spain. Because I mean, it, that, that's the thing. I mean, we can go back to the Philippines anytime. I, I'm going to get it out there this year. I'm not sure what time, it might end up probably be in November or something. Um, but at the same time, April's mother can come and experience what we have. Because I can always experience the Philippines anytime. Anyway, catch you guys later. Take it easy.